Thus far in creating our responsive site framework, we have created a viewport panel, a header panel and a content panel with some very basic content. In this section, we are going to complete our site framework with a menu that adapts across our two larger views. For our medium and small view, we are going to implement a typical pull out from the side menu, which will behave very much in the same way across these two views. We will adapt this menu for our large view into a typical horizontal desktop type menu. To give an overview of the technique, first we're going to create the menu and adapt it for each view. Then we're going to create some pages with some more content for us to navigate, because we've currently only got one page. We'll then make the menu items link to these pages. After that we're going to learn how to set up adaptive styling for our menu items a useful technique with many applications. Then we're going to add our menu button and create the interaction that will pull the menu out from the side, like so, pushing the header and content panel. Then we're going to add our menu button and create the interaction that will pull the menu out from the side, like so, pushing the header and content panels we created across, leaving the right edge of the content visible. Finally, we'll learn some conditional logic that queries the adaptive view which is necessary to make the menu animation work in the small views, but not the large. We'll need to create the menu inside the viewport panel, alongside the header and content. This will enable us to move these features around inside the viewport as they are interacted with. We'll create a menu that is narrower than the width of the viewport so we can see the edge of the content. We'll make it 250 pixels wide for the menu and place it to the right of the header and content. Now we could have the menu to the left and have it animate onto the screen from the left. This is just as easy to do but for the purposes of this demo it's easier to see what we're doing if we pull the menu on from the right. Let's add a name to this widget. It's a background for our menu. We're going to set the menu to the height of the viewport, which is 480 pixels in this view. Bear in mind that this height may be modified when we generate the prototype for different devices. Now, before we go ahead with adding more features to the menu, let's get the dimensions and placement right across the views. In our medium view, our menu is going to look and function much the same way as our base view. We just need to place it in the right location against the far right edge of the content and header panels. We'll also want the menu to occupy the full height of the viewport in this view. So we'll drag this out to the medium view height of 896. Again, this may be modified if we are generating a prototype for testing on a particular device. OK, next to our large view, where things are going to be a little different. We have the horizontal space to display a full-size menu, which is much better for the end user. So we're going to do a fairly standard vanilla horizontal menu. I'm going to position our menu under our logo, place below the header element. Back to the base view. We'll convert our background widget to a dynamic panel now and add a name, Menu. Next we're going to add the menu items. So in the base view of the menu panel we're going to add a few more rectangle shapes and we'll size and place them. Item 1, you can use control and shift drag to duplicate item 2 and item 3. I'm going to give these menu items a name, item 1, 2 and 3. Now. Layout wise, what we have done largely works for our medium view, so let's go on to our large view. 
where we need to adapt the formatting of our menu items. We'll make these horizontal menu items narrower and place them alongside each other. A further minor adjustment. I'm just using the cursor keys to nudge one pixel at a time. And there we have three views set up, with the menu hidden off outside of the viewport in the small and medium views, and the large view with the menu visible and ready to use. 